The Caloosahatchee Estuary has two potential sources of nutrient pollution. We have targeted releases coming from Lake Okeechobee, and then we have basin runoff or watershed runoff. And that's especially intense during the wet season when we have a lot of rainfall and all of the nutrients on the land are moving into the river and making their way into the estuary. We can, of course, be receiving too high of flows, but we can also be receiving too low of flows. So if you subscribe to our weekly water conditions tracker, you'll see a map with a number in cubic feet per second of how much water is moving through each of the three lock structures down the river. The water you see coming out of the S77 structure, that is the water that's leaving the lake. So that's water that is being sent to us by decision makers. If the water is coming through the S78 or S79 structures, that water is likely from watershed runoff, and that's just up to Mother Nature. The optimum flow envelope, that is the amount of water that will give our estuary the optimum salinity for the species within it to thrive and survive. 